how to integrate Mocha from Imagineer systems with Fusion. So what we want to do in the end is solve this shot, which is a quite shaky eye pack, and we want to insert this image and end up with that. Well, this of course can be done with Fusion as well, but many pipelines rely on other products like, for example, Mocha, which is a very nice planar tracking system. So let's start this entire thing over and uh, switch to Mocha. So if you ever worked with Mocha before, uh, you will have seen this shot. It's one of the tutorials that comes with the software. So what we already did is we tracked the shot in Mocha and set up our corner positioning plane here. And the first thing we do to get this into Fusion is we export the tracking data. You can then select to write this out as a Fusion Comp and give it a name like in this case IPEC Track Demo. If I now switch back to Fusion, I can just take this IPEC Track Demo, hit open, and so far I get my loader with the uh, original sequence here and a tracker. The tracker comes already populated with those four uh, trackers here I need for my corner positioning. So if I just open my insert file from here, this one, and then I just connect it to the tracker and in the trackers operation tab I set it to corner positioning and there we already go with our insert here in the IPEC and you see the thing moves outside of the screen so that's actually quite a good solution I got out of Mocha. However I want to do some more things here and for that I would like to use the actual tracking masks that were generated in Mocha. So back to Mocha and I select export shape data and in this case I'm gonna make it a shake rotor shape. I select save and again give it a name. Right, back to Fusion, how to get those shake rotor files in. We go to file, import, shapes, navigate to my folder and select the IPEC track demo SSF. Fusion then asks me which shape I want to import and actually I want to have all of them. Okay, and there we go with two masks. So we have the original outline mask and we have the original mask for the screen which was created by Mocha. Right, let's see what we can do with that. First off, I want to get my reflections from the original screen back onto my insert here. Again, there are multiple ways to do that. Of course, one way would be to just copy and paste my original tracker then create a black version without alpha of my background then add an actual background tool make that white and use the tracker to generate a mask which then can be used by just adding a merge and merging my original footage in screen mode over my composite here and use the mask created by the tracker as a mask for the merge tool. However, not all the masks we deal with every day are rectangular shaped. So let's work with the actual shapes I get from Mocha. Just take this one, connect it to the mask input of the merge and there we go with a wonderful screen overlay on my insert here. Maybe I want to bring that down a little bit. Like so. Another thing I want to bring back in are those dark edges here. And again, this can be done using various approaches. For example, just add a brightness contrast to my insert here. On the brightness contrast, let's add a rectangular mask. Set it to an extent of one both in width and height and actually I want to bring the brightness down here 
on my uh, brightness contrast tool and the rectangle actually should not be solid but it should have a little border edge and maybe some softness and yeah, of course I can watch that right here and adjust it in my composite right away so first off I think this still looks a little bit too sterile and then again as I already said before not all masks we deal with in everyday life are rectangular so let's skip this for a moment get back to my tracker sorry get back to my final merge of course and then I want to use the original mask I got from Mocha again on my brightness contrast so I copy and paste the mask apply it here say this shouldn't be solid but I actually want to have a border width with it and a bit of soft edge however now you see that the mask actually influences the outside of my computer device here as well I don't want that so again I take the original mask here pipe it into the copied version of the mask set the merge mode to multiply and that gives me actually just that inside mask I've been looking for for my display here this concludes today's tutorial about integrating Mocha with Fusion and uh, since this was a really really fast start you can imagine that the possibilities behind that are quite endless thanks and stay tuned for more news from your favorite compositor see you next time